entirety is going to be about my journal and the one that died today thanks to Siva. But before I do that, I have to clean up the mess that she actually made. Okay, done cleaning. Siva actually broke my journal, the Make Room for Good Things journal. And this was probably my favorite journal of all time. Let me explain. Okay, so I actually got this journal and it was my favorite journal from a sponsor, so believe it or not. I got it when I actually made one of my first intense videos that I thought was like amazing. I'll link it in the description down below. And it was basically talking how I am a dreamer and giving a life explanation of that age. I think I was 14 or 15 when I made that video. What you biting on now? So yeah, they saw that video. I told them if they could send me some of these journals so I can like write down some tasks that I want to accomplish. And they were like, uh, they even wrote me a letter, but I can't even read it to you guys because Siva like totally destroyed it. And I had taped the letter on the back of the journal. So every time I had like a hard day, I would go look at the back of that letter and I'd be like, dang, just keep going, keep going straight and keep working on what you need to do. I woke up and usually Siva sleeps with me. We wake up at five and we go for a run and nothing happens. On occasion, like today, I left her in her little kitchen cage, but she's able to jump over it now. If I don't put something on top of it, she can jump over it. Let me show you. Okay, so here's what we have going on over here. You see this? Perfect cage. There's a defect though. You see this little thing right here? She, it's supposed to be like a little door for like your cat or something like that. She actually fits through there as well. But the way she gets out is she actually steps on that and jump through the top. So my friend actually gave me this to put on top of that. But she actually learned that this one only uses pressure. So if you really want to get out of there, you just hit it twice and then you can jump over because at that point it falls over. So she said, you're a little sneaky little devil, aren't you? You're a little scumbag. So yeah, on this rare occasion, I had left my journal out here on the desk and she got out, we were sleeping. I guess she was not feeling it. She's like, you know what? I'm not sleepy, I'm bored. Let me go chew on things. And she came and found my journal. Now this is the journal that I use each and every day. The reason it's so important to me, well for one, it's got stickers. Stickers are important. But two, I got it for free from a sponsor deal. And three, uh, I had just gotten into like really writing down my tasks, telling myself what I need to do, uh, going back and reflecting on old tasks so I can accomplish them and moving forward. And here's Steve and she's like, no, 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 no. Start over. Um, I use the system that you can Google it. Uh, I don't know what it's, uh, I'll put it in the description down below. But I use this system called the Bullet Journal and it basically, basically shows you how to have an efficient journal. Because I have so many like journals and textbooks and like notebooks from school, but I've never once actually completed a full journal. That actually takes time and you like go back and review everything and it takes effort. So I've never actually completed one. So the bullet journal is like a good little simple way of learning how to actually make events and accomplish them and keep using your journal to the full effect. That's why I believe the last three videos, I've kind of been slacking I believe since last week. Even though they've been going up daily, they haven't been going up at 6 a.m. and or they haven't been going up with like full confidence. I kind of just been uploading them because something is better than nothing and I understand that but at the same time I always like to upload a video that I'm 100% confident about. So I mean I've been having a hard two three days without this little journal because I feel lost. But as soon as this happened I went out and got a brand new one. Let me introduce you to I don't I don't have a, a nickname for my journal so let me introduce you to my journal. Green is for the money, gold is for the honey. I took out the DSLR to see if I can get some epic shots. I don't know if it worked. Let me know in the comment section down below if it did. I'm trying because remember guys, the autofocus is not great on this lens. So I've been doing a lot of manual focus. That's what I did in the car wash video. And I want to keep practicing it because maybe, uh, you know, this is a really good backup shooter aside from uh, my daily camera. So maybe this gets like an upgrade sooner than I thought. But hopefully you like those little short shots of the notebook, which is right here. Bam, green. Cause gold is for the honey, green is for the money. I, I think Kakawa said that on Hoonigans and I fell in love with the quote. Cause um, it's kind of true and there's a song about it so I'll put it on top. Green, green is, for, is the money, for the money, gold, gold is for the, for honey. the honey. It has a cheetah at the front and it says, don't let them tame you. Ooh, ain't that epic, ain't that an epic quote. Uh, 
is by Sedora Duncan. What I did, here you go, bullet journal. That's like every time I forget what I actually need to do with an event and or a test that I need to accomplish, I put like the little key in the back. Now, I added a little extra twist to the little bullet journal because on the back, I mean, sometimes I get good ideas or sometimes I hear something really good because I believe that this is what actually makes you uh, makes you who you are, it makes you interesting, it, make, it could make you famous, it could make you a lot of money because we live in a society now where nobody actually write things down. It's mostly just like on Twitter, on Instagram and like you take a screenshot and then you forget about it because then you just save it in your iCloud photos but you don't actually like go back to it. Over here in the back I actually like put down all my ideas that I want to develop, like I was heavily influenced by Initial D. I know I'm really bad at drawing, but I was heavily influenced by Initial D, so I tried to draw that. Um, there's a, a video that I wanna come up with that has to do with the desk upgrade. Um, I follow this guy named Gary Vaynerchuk. If you know him, please leave a like or description down below or like a comment, because he is an amazing guy. And he's basically the ones that gives me my daily inspiration whenever I feel like I need that. In one of his recent videos, he was like, just close your eyes until you're 29 and keep working every single day of your life and you'll realize the actual effect that you did. Because, I mean, let him explain it, go watch the video. I think the title of the video is close your eyes until you're 29 or something like that. But it basically means people our age, people my age specifically, we're out here just in college, drinking, having fun, but we're not really actually focusing on what we want to do. And we don't really realize that until we're 29 and like time has passed and now you want to change things. He's a great guy. I'm like just quoting him. These aren't even my words. I'm just trying to say what he, say what he says, but he's an amazing guy. You should definitely follow him. Um, but yeah, in the back, I put little quotes like that. I got an idea for daily driven intro because I know I'm slacking on the intro and outro game. So I'm gonna get to work on that as soon as I have a little bit more time to work on that. But this is why I love a journal. Like you see so many ideas, so many inspiration, so many quotes that just live in a journal and at any point in time when I'm having a hard day or like I'm out of ideas to like to lack to create a video each and every day, I go back to the journal. And it's like, oh, maybe you should do this. You didn't do this last time. And that's why I was so mad when Siva broke this one. And I, I don't even get mad at Siva at all. Sometimes she pees inside, sometimes she poos inside. And when she does that, I'm like, it's my fault. I didn't take you aside, I understand. But things like this, I don't understand. Why my journal? Like, you could have been something else. Why my journal? Oh, side note, she actually ripped up my owner's manual as well for my Subaru that I had just laying around. My fault, not hers. But I found this. This is pretty cool. Check this out. This is the original sales thing that goes on the window for when you buy the car. You see the mileage and the how much gas it gets. And it even says 2.5 Subaru RS. That's crazy. Subaru all-wheel drive system. It had the premier sound package. Dang, it was $810 more. They had the package savings. Mm. It had the special package price and it had the security group. Keyless entry system and security system and completed the floor mats. This is an expensive thing. But this car was only $20,000, 854 when it was brand new. So that is not a bad deal, my friends. And I also found like a bunch of like receipts of all the things the previous or original owner has done to it. That's pretty cool. I was amazed. I was amazed. This is a Subaru dealer preparation checklist. 1999, this checklist came out in 1015 of 1999. Yo, it's about to be your birthday. If you got, the, if you were sold on 10th to 15th of 1999, that means your birthday is this upcoming month on the 15th. See, Vanessa, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. And it's still running. I mean, it's locking, but it's still running. Okay, okay, that's a, that's a lot of information. I was supposed to make a quick short video so we can like separate from cars because I've been doing a lot of car things and I'm gonna be doing some more car things. Tell the people what they want to hear. <laughs> You're getting bigger and bigger, you know that? Thank you, Siva. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's. Please go out and get a journal. I don't care what age you are. Go out there, write down some ideas, and put them to use. Uh, if you do this each and every day, whether it be a little test, like go to the store and buy a ranch, or a big text, like finish a video each and every day, you will accomplish a lot more things in life than everybody else. If you just write them down and tell yourself, you gotta do them, you gotta do them, you gotta do them. And when you're feeling like down and like, uh, I don't know if I should do them, you go to the back and you look at your inspiration and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. 
All right, that's a lot. That's suppo this is supposed to be a quick video. But anyways, guys, this has been your host, Marco Medina, with another episode of Daily Driven, even though this wasn't really about Vanessa. Well, kind of. We found out her birthday. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'm working on an intro and outro. Just give me, just give me some time.